Um, it's the one I probably perform the most in, in Germany just because it's you need you don't need to know as much English to understand it. It hasn't got many prime number puns, for example. Uh, but also it kind of I wasn't sure about doing it and then and this the theme has been referenced a couple of times, so I feel like I should. Uh, and it came about because I wanted to write a love poem, uh, but I wanted it to be cool, so I put dinosaurs in it. Uh, so this, this is called Dinosaur Love. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough. Because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff like, I'll always have your back, or I'm glad I'm not alone. Well, to be honest, I'd say anything so you'll hang up the phone because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. And these Doctor Who box sets ain't going to watch themselves. <laughs> I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff. And what I'm really trying to say is... <laughs> I want to love you like a T-Rex <laughs> with a tiny brain but a massive heart and if I was a T-Rex I could hold you in my T-Rex and put you from harm because that's dinosaur love <laughs> it's the way the eastern spines down my spine like a stegosaurus or had just like dinosaurs no one cares what came before us because they got that love so big it cannot be ignored like if you were the dinosaur everything else seems secondary dinosaurs are not mythical creatures they are legendary plus just really cool. <laughs> the thing with dinosaurs is dinosaurs are kind of awesome. One that they actually existed, just my love is real. I ain't talking blindly walking strings attached like Theseus. That's Minotaur love. <laughs> when this is dinosaur love, this ain't no damsel in distress, trap princess, dragon slaying quest. Cause one, dragons never happen. Two, most women don't need rescuing. Feminist dinosaurs. This is less prancing unicorns, more two ton triceratops with terrifying pterodactyls tearing terror from above. It's dinosaur love. Molten rock and meteorite, trust me, we've got a love so old school, it's prehistoric. So if you're into Spielberg or hip hop with a classic vibe, then we could watch <laughs> Jurassic Park or listen to Jurassic 5. <laughs> if you like a bone, then I know a place where we could see him. I'm a lifetime member of the Natural History Museum. I want to say I love you. But that might be awkward. So instead I'm happy to that state in my head where it cannot go wrong. And if as time goes on, my dino love dies out as you'd expect when it's extinct, or rather that we remain friends and became exes. But if somehow, against the odds, my dino love proves so colossal that it stands the test of time perfectly preserved like a fossil then one day, when you've been left in ruins and need someone to help excavate through me and take an archaeological expert to point you towards me. And at the point I point out, you're like a Brachiosaurus. Because there's no one above you. And I'll be able to look you in the eyes and say... <laughs> <laughs>